I want to be stereotyped. I want to be classified. What's going on guys? This is Vaping for Life. Uh, just doing a little tutorial on how to make some micro coils out of 26 gauge can't thaw. Uh, you know, nobody really works with 26 gauge. Uh, that's the only wire I got. So that's what I work with for right now. You got a 100 foot roll of that stuff. Got to get used out of it. So use it. So we're going to make some micro coils. Learn how to do it. Learn how to wrap it. Stuff like that. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so for this, you're going to need some 26 gauge canthal, you're going to need some of your organic cotton, you're going to need some toenail clippers, what I used to cut, some of you guys have some other kind of cutters or wire cutters, whatever you want to use, these work for me, a little screwdriver, the flathead I use, this uh, goes out to 1 16th on this bit right here, on a drill bit, so this actually works for me, this is how I do it. Needle nose, sharp ass needle nose, uh, tweezers here. I've stabbed myself a couple times with them already. You can tell they're really, really sharp, but they work for me. So, all right, so what you're gonna wanna do is get, I don't know, I use, I use, I don't even know what I use. I just pull it and cut it to wherever I feel it's cool. So, pull it out, go ahead and put that one. Get two pieces, we're gonna do dual. got our two pieces of camp all cut. Now we're going to start wrapping. I don't know if you can actually see it or not. It's a little messed up, but what you're going to do is six wraps on here. It's it's a really good build. This is what I use all the time. So I even count the first one as my first wrap because I just push it up against this this little uh, black piece right here and get them all together. Uh, there's a little tip from Rip Trippers right there that he taught me. So you go one, two, three, four, five, and six, and I always pull it back over here a little bit like that, so I don't know if you can even see it or not, but there is six wraps on there, so, all right, and then you just pull your leads a little straight, you're going to push it up against that little black stopper right there, so you just kind of give it a little shove over, a little shove over a couple times, you know, give it a little shove, make sure they're straight again, and then what you're gonna want to do, you want to cut this one longer than that one. It's easier to get them in the post. So I cut it like that right there. All right, all right, guys. Now that you're done with your wraps, make sure your stuff is all out of the old, all the old stuff, all the old garbage crap is out. The hot spot stuff and the burnt cotton. All right. Always make sure this little lock ring is off. And if you have to, like I do, because I've done it before. Unscrew, if you have a telescopic, unscrew this so that it's not even making contact at all. That's what I do. But you don't have to, but sometimes you might even want to take the battery out of it. Alright, so all you got to do now, I don't even use the, the tool to slide these in. You don't really need to. Um, you can just kind of push them all in there. Make sure that you got a little bit of a gap from the post. Just a little bit of a gap. Just a smidge of a gap from the post to your wire and then just tighten down one of the leads get that all snug and bug snug as a bug in a rug right there so you just tighten this down that one just this one all right now you can get your other wire and make sure it's nice and good and straight how you want it all right make sure you want to put the the long you want to make sure you put that long one in the in the positive middle post because it will make it easier for the, the smaller one to go into the other post. So you do it like that. I don't know if you can see this because I'm trying to watch myself do this at the same time I'm filming this. But it's okay. This is my first video, you know, guys. It's all good. Okay, leave yourself that little gap right there. I know it's a little crooked, but we'll, we'll get that all straightened out. We can straighten that all up after. So... And make sure you pull it in. Just pull it in. There we go. Tighten her down. All right. There she goes. That one's tight. You don't want to make them too tight because you'll bust through the canthal wire. You just want to get them snugged up. You know what I mean? Nice and snug. You can tighten them all up afterwards after you move them around and do everything else you got to do. All right. Your lead's just hanging out everywhere. What I do is I just bend them to the sides like so and give them a quick clip clip this doesn't take long this is 
one of the easier builds to do this um, once you get into like you know double parallels stuff like that quads all that it gets a little more harder so that's good now all you want to do is take your screwdriver shove it back in the coil if I can get it back in the coil there it goes and what I do just to get a little more tension is I take my thumbs right here on this coil and I pull it so the resistance gets a little lower and it gets a little tighter then you want to straighten her out you know get her all nice and good looking in there straighten her out make sure she's good and what I do I don't know if anybody else does this but my screwdriver is actually flush with the the actual uh, deck not the yeah the deck the top so I make sure it's flush with that so that's where my wire sits so when I pull it out if it will come out sometimes it, you get stuck so what you get is something like that so it's right at the top of the deck so those are in there we're good with that all right guys so after you get your coils in there like so you got to do the the heat and squeeze or whatever you want to call it basically what you're going to do you need to squeeze these coils a little tighter they're they're tight as long as you wrap them right they're tight but you want to get them as tight as possible so you're gonna get that out of there let's finish straightening up our, our coil right here the screwdriver feels like it's gonna break unfortunately that'd be sad that'd be a sad day in my world all right so what you're gonna do let's see here and heat it up right it's gonna glow red and you're gonna squeeze these bad boys with the tweezers not too hard not too nice because you gotta be you gotta be gentle with a little bit of a muscle behind those fingertips. And whatever you do, do not, do not, I repeat, do not, unless you have ceramic squeezers, hit that button when you're when you're squeezing. You gotta heat it up and then squeeze it. It's the only good thing about those ceramic tweezers, which I don't have twelve dollars to go spend on ceramic tweezers. You can hit that button while you're squeezing. This is what you get. You want it going in from the inside out, inside out, and evenly. So boom, perfect. Perfect. She's glowing, she's rolling. All right, next is the cotton. So what you want to do is you want to take it, and you can, I don't know if you can tell or not, but these are actually rolled. So get the hair off there. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Probably my girlfriend, but that's okay. So what you want to do is you're going to want to take some and just pull it off nice and slow. Nice and slow. Sometimes you waste a whole cotton ball, but they're okay. You get bags of this stuff at a... Uh, Walgreens, that's where I got mine for about three bucks. So and then you want to just take it, just kind of roll it around, roll it around, get a little, little smaller, a little smaller. See, this is pretty good right here. I can almost use this whole thing to do both sides. You know what I mean? This whole one piece right here can almost probably do both sides. So those have additives and a bunch of other stuff we don't want to be vaping. Okay. So make sure it's 100% either organic, grown, organic, whatever it is. Just make sure it's organic. Because it ain't going to taste good when you're, you know, ingesting that stuff. It's not good for you. Just like that guy that smokes that french fry. That's not good for McDonald's. You don't want that neither. Don't eat McDonald's. You can smoke the french fries. That's kind of weird. All right. So let's see here. So you grab it like that. Grab it from there. Give it a little fold over and I drop my screwdriver and give it a little fold over and tuck start tucking what I do is I push and then just turn my screwdriver and that kind of tucks it underneath gives it like a little bit of a roll effect which is kind of cool feels good when you do your builds you know real men do their own builds so you gotta start doing your own but guys you can't be going to the vape shop asking them to to build for you you know kind of look like a girl when you do that <laughs> just kidding all right all right guys so now you're all done putting all your cotton in there you're ready to roll ready to vape pretty sure everybody's been waiting now so we got some uh, alpha sweet tooth going on here at three milligrams it's a really good juice i got it from the ecc uh it's really good stuff it's kind of like a, a churro type taste it's pretty good pretty good stuff so That's a good one. Yeah, she's bellowing out there. She's chucking it, as Rip would say. 
all right guys so we did it we got it all built <laughs> um, I know you guys don't work a lot with 26 gauge but I do I ordered a bunch of it off Amazon got a hundred foot so putting it to use you know what I mean got to use up that that roll um, but um, you know I'm vaping on a K100 it's really not that great but hey it works so why change it if it's working right got some uh, Sony VTC fours in here be safe with your batteries guys you got to be safe if you're gonna own like sub ohm or you know anything even if you're not gonna sub ohm I don't give a damn even if you're not sub ohming you should probably use these batteries the VTC fours VTC fives stuff like that uh, make sure they're safe you know you never know what could happen um, also got the Igo W on here which isn't a bad um, RDA uh, it's actually really good I drilled out these holes to make them a little bigger give me a little more airflow on both sides yeah. Two, one, two, one, two, yeah, you get it. Anyway, and then uh, drip tip from Beyond Vape, you know, good stuff. All right, let's give her a vape. Not bad at all. It's really good, actually. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe to my new, uh, my new, Taping channel. Alright guys, have a good one. Peace.